Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And for those of you that are maybe new to the channel, I welcome you as well. I've been building this camper van out of a, an ex-prison truck, which is an Iveco daily, 6.7 ton, uh, three liter turbo diesel, automatic. It had six prison cells or six holding cells and the guard used to sit here with all the communications and he had his little desk here. Um, but the whole whole length of this was filled with, with cells and behind where the camera's standing, all filled with cells. It's, um, but like I say, go and see the previous videos, you'll see what we're all about. But there's still a few things I need to do to the van. There's a bit of boxing in, I've got to do, some, uh, do for some wiring. I've got to fit the overhead locker cupboard doors along with a few shelves and I've got the windows that have been made for me. All this will be done within the next sort of couple of weeks and then we plan on going on our first proper trip away. But just before going, we were looking at purchasing something like the Jackery 500 Explorer or a similar, similar unit. But it was very important that whatever unit we bought, it must power our 700 watt pressure cooker. Now this is 500 watt with a thousand watt surge. But Jackery have been kind enough to give me one of these units so I can test it and review it along with the 100 watt Solar Saga solar panel. I'll go into some details about the products in a bit, but basically it must work the pressure cooker. Now, as long as it runs that, then we're all good. And other little things, so that we don't chip into our house batteries, which I've got three times 120 watt, 120 amp hour leisure batteries, 500 watts of soda on the roof. We've covered all, all bases when it comes to charging those batteries up, but you can never have too much power. So we wanted one of these to really power the pressure cooker and also charge up our e-scooters. It would be a great way to charge those up without chipping into our house batteries. And maybe, you know, if we're going through a few days where the weather is absolutely lousy and we're camped up while camping in the middle of nowhere, we got the TV on possibly. I've got the PS5, which is all being fitted within the next couple of weeks. I'm hoping well, not I'm hoping, I know that this will be able to power those. But the first thing it must power is the pressure cooker. And then of course, the little things like running the TV for a couple of days without chipping into our house batteries in case we've got really, really bad, lousy weather, rain, we're not getting any solar. So I'd rather use all that power running our luxury items like the TV. I'd rather use this than chip it into our house batteries. And then when we've got good weather, this can get charged up off of the solar panel, or it can be charged through a cigarette light socket um, or accessory socket whilst we're driving. Um, but like I say, you can never have too much power. So I thank Jackery for reaching out to us and sending us this unit. And I'm gonna give it a thorough testing and see if it powers the pressure cooker first of all. So that will be the first test that I do. We all know it powers our phones, okay? We all know it will we'll power you, your battery chargers for your drones. I haven't got a drone yet. I do intend on getting one. Um, uh, but anyway, the Jackery, this particular one, has three USB sockets. The one AC socket, which is powered by a pure sine wave inverter. 500 watt with a thousand watt surge inside lithium battery it's got your accessory socket or cigarette lighter socket some people call it and these two points here for for like your little i think they're eight mil sort of little jack plugs that that go in there and that's how you power it on uh, sorry that's how you charge it up that's your input for charging you've got the display here which tells you the power coming in the power that's going out the power of the batteries and it's very very clearly readable turns itself off as it just did after a few seconds so it's not wasting the battery or as soon as you plug something in it turns itself on to power on the inverter you press the button here it was you can hear the inverter just powering up briefly and then it goes silent again so right let's give this uh this unit a good test. The first test is going to be the pressure cooker and we'll see how we get on. 
500 watts, 1000 watt surge, the pressure cooker is 700 watts, so hopefully it might just about run it. If it doesn't, then this wouldn't be the unit that I'd go for. I'd go for the next unit up, which is um, the Jackery 1000. But let's see what this unit's capable of doing. Just fill this with a litre or so of water. Don't need to put food in it. That'll do. On nearly all of the reviews I've seen about the Jackery, straight away, one of the little annoyances is the plug position so we'll just move the the jackery back a bit now look at the plug that's coming out of the bottom there some of them have quite a thick guard to stop the the flexing of the plug the cable going into the plug this one's actually quite flexible so we can get away with it but one of the annoyances is that really jackery need to put some bigger feet on the bottom here it's just not tall enough on this plug, for example, see the difference there? That's quite thick. Put that in. It's actually lifting the jackery up or I'm putting too much stress on the flex cable going into the plug right there. So seriously, jackery, it's not really that hard to do. They're just little rubber feet at the bottom. I possibly will extend these myself or I actually will do with lumps of rubber like door stops. It's not a major problem for me, it's just a little annoyance, you know, because we can always get over it and put something under it or we can put it to the edge like that, but just some bigger feet. It really isn't gonna affect the cost of this unit. So just put some bigger feet on it, it will really be. Anyway, right, plug the um, pressure cooker back in. We've got different settings here like stews, soups, cooking fish, rice, blah, blah, blah. Or you can set the temperature or you can set the time yourself manually. We're just going to go straight away into um, the stew setting. So we will fire up. We've just fired up the, um, the jackery. As you can see, the pressure cooker is, is basically in, in like standby mode. It's not doing anything. And it's consuming 7 watts from the jackery. We've got no input coming in because we're not charging it up at the moment. Um, what I do like about it is that the display keeps turning itself off after you, you know you literally only need a few seconds just to read the display, see, see what's going on. Then you have to press the display button again for the light to come on and so you can see what's going on. We're on 100% charge, P30, that's 30 minutes basically. It's on. There we go, the jackery's going up now, it's consuming free, 55, 405, 4. So we're now over the 500 watts max for the jackery. It's topped out at 68569. It's okay, it's running. The Those circles going around are just indicating that it's warming up. It seems to be running it at the moment. Ah, hold on. Right, we've tripped out, guys. The whole lot's just turned itself off, so the jackery appears to have tripped itself out, or the pressure cooker's tripped the jackery out. Let's run that again. We're on. Right, we'll give that another test. There you go. Can you hear the fan whirring away in the, um, from the inverter? It's tripped the jackery out again. So it lasts for about a minute and a half, two minutes. A little warning triangle popped up there. Right, so that's a shame. That's twice. Like I say, don't shoot me down in the comments because I do know this is a 500 watt unit with a thousand watt surge. The pressure cooker is taking itself up to going on going by the jackery display it's taking itself up to roughly 690 695 watts so 700 watts which this is rated at uh, we've got roughly a litre i can feel the bottom of that that's warm 
so it was doing its job but after about a minute and a half two minutes on both tests it tripped out it was just running at that wattage a little bit too much i understand if it's 500 watts and then it quickly peaks to six seven eight hundred watts for a second or two and then back down then the jackery would handle it but this obviously requires a little bit too much power sustained power over 500 watts um, happens to be 700 watts so the jackery couldn't quite handle that so as great as this is for me i would have to have purchased the 1000 watt unit and i still still would be looking at doing that um, well, of course, Jackery, if you want to send me a 1000 watt unit, I'll happily test and review that. But this wouldn't be the product that I would have bought, but it's more than capable of running the TV. It's more than capable of charging up my um, e-scooters and all the other stuff, your phones, your drone batteries and, and, and whatnot. So, right, that's a shame. I'll just put this to the side. Right, I'm a little bit gutted that the uh, Jackery 500 couldn't quite power the, the uh, pressure cooker. Now, again, like I said, don't shoot me down in the comments. I know that's 700 watts, this is 500 watts, but I really needed to run that test because that would have been one of the buying, deciding factors on what one of these we would have purchased. I'm very fortunate that Jackery have sent us this to test and review along with the solar panel. So I know that my pressure cooker I would have wasted my money buying this. So I need to get myself the 1000 watt version. So, but in the meantime, I've got my scooter, my e-scooter is on, was on 90% charge. The Jackery was on 94% charge. It's drawing 82 watts from the Jackery to charge this up. I wanna see, when this gets to 100%, I wanna see what charge is left in the Jackery. So I, I know, that I'm pretty much more than confident that that will be able to charge up the e-scooters a couple of times. Yes, I can do my maths, but I prefer real-time testing. I know that this, the Jackery 500, will be able to charge up both our e-scooters together at the same time. So this Jackery 500 is absolutely ideal. Sling under the bed, charge these up, won't affect our house batteries at all. Could run the TV as well at the same time. I could plug in my phone, don't forget this, the, the scooter is using the onboard 500 watt pure sine wave inverter. I could plug in a USB lead, turn that on at the same time and plug in my phone, charge up my phone. I don't wanna do that at the moment because I wanna run the test on the scooter. We could, at the same time, whilst charging up the screws, we could uh, run maybe a tyre pump or whatever in the accessory socket. 89% charge, drawing 81, 82 watts. Right, it's just gone up to 83. The scooter is now on 97% charge. Right, guys, the scooter got to 100% and the Jackery remained on 87%, drawing 82 watts. Today is a very, very gray, very cold day. And I've literally jumped out the van, set this up outside because I tried earlier on, just so I can show the solar panel charging up the Jackery and I, I, it was fluctuating between zero and one watt. We've just had a little break. We've got some sunshine out. Solar panels connected now to the Jackery and we're drawing in. Fifty-two watts. So in this zipped pocket where you where the um, charging lead stores attached to it inside, you can actually charge charge up your tech you have a USB socket here or a USB point and a USB C point so you can charge your devices directly off you can charge your iPad your laptops Game Boys mobile phones everything directly off of the actual solar panel just go 
gonna just gonna do a little bit of a test here. So it does fluctuate. It's gone down to 51 watts now, 50, 51 watts. Hey Jeff, you alright mate? But if I stand in front of the panel, I've blocked off one of the panels, that's just shot down to four watts. I'm moving out of the way and it's just gone up to just over 50 watts. Now bear in mind that's not an exclusive issue uh, for the Jackery, that's also the panels. The different angles, the different times of the year. But it shows you again when you if you're using a solar saga uh, 100 watt solar panel, adjust adjust these legs at the back because just literally that few degrees of adjustment makes a huge difference to the amount of wattage you're pulling in and how quick it's going to charge up your uh, jackery so just something to bear in mind but anyway we know that this this folding solar panel we know it works and it works very very well if you're looking at buying these type of products now would be the time to do so jackery are offering you up to 25 percent off of the jackery 500 watt explorer and the jackery solar saga 100 watt solar panel the retail price for the 500 explorer is 529 pounds up to 25 percent off of that is around 130 132 pounds off that's an amazing deal this unit retails for 259 pounds i believe up to 25 percent off of that do your maths fantastic deals to be had just follow the links in the description and take advantage of the amazing deals that Jackery are offering you between the days of the 25th and 29th, which is the Black Friday and Cyber Monday deal. So now is the time to purchase one of these units. I am sure you will not regret it. So the Jackery 500 Watt Explorer unit is a great unit and I would highly, highly, or I do highly recommend it if it's powerful enough for what you want it for. If not, you go for a, the more powerful version. This might be too much for you. There's one that's half the size of this or half the power. Um, the Jackery 500 handled everything I slung at it except for the pressure cooker. But I was asking way too much from this little unit. This is 500 watts, the pressure cooker is 700 watts. It actually did reach 730 odd watts at one point. But other than that, I would buy this unit in a heartbeat without a shadow of a doubt. And I am going to get my hands on the 1000 watt version or a similar product as long as it runs my pressure cooker. The gripes, as I've already mentioned in, in the video, is the USB ports. I would absolutely add a quick charge port. Today's tech does need quick charge USB points. My phone, um, it's only the Galaxy S20. I'm filming this off of the Galaxy S20. I also use my wife's phone, which is the Galaxy S20 or S21. If I use the standard USB ports to charge my phone, certainly if it's dead or close to dead, it takes ages. It needs a quick charge point. The USB-C isn't a drama because there's adapters that, that can deal with that issue. So that's not a problem, but it definitely needs a USB quick charge port. So take that on board, Jackery. That's what we're doing these reviews for. Also, the feet need to be longer, have to be. We're putting the plugs under too much stress and that could be a danger if we start weakening the plug points. But one addition I would really love to see in this and the version above would be the ability to jump start your vehicle. That would be an amazing addition. If that can be done, Jackery, that would be something to consider without a shadow of a doubt, the ability to jump start your vehicle. Other than that, I can't fault this, this, this product. I mean, I just can't fault it. It really is. A great little product that's it with that I hope you tune into the next video which will be coming out very soon and 
if I get enough questions in the comments, I'll look at some of the previous questions I've been getting asked that I haven't answered yet. I will. How we doing, mate? Just jumped out to speak to the bus driver. Um, some of the bus drivers on this route are uh, they're amazing. <laughs> they are annoying though. Every time they go by, uh, the the viewers have said that that they can hear me perfectly fine, but I'm having to shout over the buses, or I just stop filming. Um, but anyway, where was I? Yep. Yeah. If I get enough questions in the comments and I will be looking over previous comments in on other videos to questions I've, I've been asked and I may not have answered, I'm going to start doing a, a midweek, I don't know what day, um, a midweek sort of Q&A session, minimal editing so I can just put it up each week and of course at the end of the week I want to do my normal videos, travel vlogs, uh, build vlogs maintenance vlogs on on the van and um and that's it so with that guys uh i hope you'll stay safe and we'll catch you in the next video thank you very much